A couple weeks ago, I showed you why I think PA Cross out of the gun tight is the worst money play in the history of money plays. I also asked you guys that if you hit 200 likes in that video, I drop a blitz out of the big nickel over G to help you guys attack other tight formations. You guys did that in a big way. So here's my thank you. What's up guys, Sam from the Sam Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to go over the most exotic blitz scheme in all of Madden. I am a big proponent of the big nickel over G. Yes, I know the safety switch sides. Yes, I understand that that's a thing that annoys a lot of you. But if you guys are interested in this coverage or this particular blitz scheme, you guys have to go over to gridirongameplans.gg. I'm gonna show you just a small portion of the freestyle blitzing you can do out of this formation. If you guys want some awesome coverage setups to pair behind these blitz setups, I've got them over there on the website for you. And you can also run the full match game plan. All this stuff I've been talking about this week on the channel you guys can mix that in out of this formation as well but let's stick to strictly zone blitzing out of this i think this is a phenomenal formation to bring a litany of pressures against tight formations because tight formations provide you the ability to bring your extra players off the edge because they like to line up with all their receivers in tight near the line of scrimmage so let's now go ahead and take the field here i'm going to show you guys why i love this formation so much um, just absolutely incredible stuff here we really don't give people time to throw corner routes that's one of the major complaints that a lot of players have about the big nickel over G. So we're going to be sending some unique exotic blitz pressures that maybe one down the seam is open. And then the next down, we send us pressure that's very similar, but we're going to close that hole in the zone. This is going to allow for some of you that like to get your zone blitz on. Maybe you're a fan of Dick LeBeau, the Steelers old defensive coordinator that was huge on his fire zone and his hole droppers in his zone blitzes. This is the type of zone blitz defense that I think would pique your interest against the meta. Now, me personally, I am more of a coverage guy that brings the threat of the blitz every now and then to keep you on your toes. But if you're the type of player that wants to full on send the kitchen sink pressure does burst pipes this is the defense for you so let's start off with kind of my favorite thing that i love about this formation when you pinch your defense that you don't even have to pinch your defense but i prefer to but when you show blitz you're going to get this safety walk down that turns this into basically a six across front now i love this because i can go ahead and do a variety of different things now yes i understand the zones flipped i do i get it we can fix that. You're going to be able to make adjustments with your safeties and do some pretty incredible stuff with this. So keep in mind that we're in the over G. So I can take this safety and put him into a deep half on the left. So that way this guy doesn't have to run across the field. I can put this safety into an outside third, which is one of my favorite adjustments to use against corner route spam in the game. This is going to allow me to really bring my corner off that weak side because I could use a flat here. I could go ahead and put this guy in an outside quarter if I really wanted to make sure that I have, you know, any sideline breaking routes covered by a safety in a third and a corner in an outside quarter zone. I could put this guy into the flat. You're gonna really see how this gets created because I can really create some exotic, exotic looking zone blitzes with some weird droppers. Again, this is a safety that I could drop into a middle third from the line of scrimmage. Now, yes, I know some of you are gonna say, well, aren't they gonna drop slow? Yes, they are. They are going to drop slow, but you also have other options available to you. Maybe I go ahead and put the outside corner into a half and I bring this guy and I want to bring kind of a six man pressure off the, you know, off the line of scrimmage. And maybe I, you know, three wreck bluff blitz this guy out of the defense late into the play. There's a lot of stuff you could do with this that's going to allow you to generate pressure pretty consistently on your opponent. You realize what you've done? In this situation, for instance, maybe you're kind of running this, you're gonna guarantee your pressure, and you just gotta jump into the flat. That middle dropper kind of plugs up that drag lane. They're waiting on their, you know, streak route, their corner route to get open on the wide sideline. Uh, you got the ability to do a lot with this. So again here, you can make this as complicated or as simple as you want, but just know that at the end of the day, the pressure's coming. So. Let's go ahead and leave this as like a zone blitz. We change this guy to a half. We put this guy into maybe a half over here. I put this guy into a, a, a flat from this side and I bring this as kind of like a, a cover two hybrid blitz. We've got a standard Tampa two look to the left. We've got an inverted cover two to the right, but we're sending pressure. And then here in this particular example, let's say maybe our opponent decides to run one of those little pesky PA shot plays. They all like to run their little play action. Well, you know, we on this can say pass commit 
And what that's going to allow us to do is when this ball snap, kind of muddy up the reeds, and now everything's falling around them before they have a chance to make a reed pressure burst pipes. You don't even have to cover this formation. You can just bring pressure and not give them time to throw their favorite routes or make them have to choose to throw something hot. Now, again, the really cool thing about this is that when you get down to it, the running back also does not block well against this particular blitz or this type of blitz package. So let's go ahead and say that I decide to bring this weak slot corner and I just do a simple dropout. I decide to take the left safety, put him in a half. Maybe we put this guy into a middle third. Maybe we put this guy into an outside third, or maybe we actually leave this guy into the outside third and we put this guy in the flat. There's gonna be a lot that you could do with this, but what you're really gonna notice is the running back doesn't have any idea what's going on around him and those slot corners away from the running back are gonna come in pretty routinely as well. So you could dumb this down to a little five man edge pressure and your opponent's really gonna struggle with it. Now, the best part of this is that, you know, you could actually set this up as the threat of a slot blitz or you could drop both of your slots out. Say you do something kind of crazy like this and you decide that you're gonna bring one of the linebackers very similar to the nickel over meta. So now in this situation, let's say that you think they're gonna run, you know, a, a five out offense. You could kind of run this like nickel over, bait them into sending the running back out, jump the hot read, and now you gotta scream into edge pressure from a, you know, a, line, a linebacker or an outside linebacker playing defensive end uh, in this regard. So this is really one of those defenses that you just can actually amp up the pressure so easily out of against these tight formations. Tight formations do not like over G. They do not. You can cover it, you can blitz it. You've got a lot of different options. Now let's go ahead and kind of mix them. We're gonna go ahead and run a quarters blitz, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to turn auto flip off and I'm going to leave the nickel corner to the right side of the screen. And the reason that you wanna do that is when you leave the nickel corner to the right side of the screen, when you show blitz, the safeties do not crisscross the field. So now if they're looking to throw their corner out to that short side of the field over on the right and maybe block a blitz at the same time, you've got the ability to blitz one or both of your slot corners and guarantee that pressure very, very easily. In this regard, we would probably get out to the flat to make sure that they don't throw anything hot. So we're gonna snap the ball, pressure's coming, we get out underneath, Things are crumbling down, and even if it doesn't get home for bumping reasons, the running back blocks it accurately, you still got matched corners that can take away those, you know, corner patterns that people like to spam out of tight. So, you know, you're in a situation where you can actually cover some of this stuff while blitzing as well, too. So, you know, it's not just a zone blitz or, you know, zone blitz, and it's either you get a big play or they get a big play. You could actually kind of protect yourself a little bit by adjusting a little bit out of these quarter zones. Now, if you guys want to fuse kind of all the blitzes together, I would actually recommend bringing kind of a, a zone blitz with, you know, a guaranteed edge pressure uh, plus a weak slot corner. So what I mean by that is, let's say that we decided to run this like, uh, so, like so. We want to put, uh, let's actually flip this here. We want to put pressure off the edge with Verrett, and then we want to bring Nitschke right with this stack look, right? So now you got this situation where this is kind of like a cover two, a little, a little aggressive cover two. You might walk your safeties down, uh, just to take away quick throws down the seam. In this situation, we know if they go five out, we're gonna get Taylor off the edge. But if they block the running back to try to pick up that edge pressure, we should still be getting Verrett off the edge provided he doesn't bump into anybody. So you see how right there, the running back steps up the middle to pick up the linebacker. So they pick up the actual five man with the linebacker blitzing setup, but that slot corner that we brought off the weak side edge guarantees the pressure in the event that your opponent knows what they're doing. So you've got these blitz pressures that are a little bit more finesse, can kind of make your opponent panic. You've got these guaranteed pressures and you've got coverage combinations that make this really, really valuable to you guys. So I just threw a lot at you. If you guys want me to break it down, simplify it, condense it and give you the best morsels of it, Go over to gridirongameplans.gg, $9.95 a month unlocks the entire website. Again, thank you so much for all the support on the channel. Please drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on Monday with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab and good luck.